going for my grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, don't open it yet. Have patience. There, there will be a day when you feel, feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And our family's curse <laughs> will set upon you. Your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. You will seek refuge in the bottle. Like me and your grandfather before you, you will hear the call of the deep. <laughs> and when you do, you'll, you will hear, you will be able to receive my gift. Oh, I am beginning to hear it. The call. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. You see. Ruin has come to our family. You remember our venerable house, opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the Stardew Valley. You will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling, serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenuous places. This is the Maple Farm! Ah, the new farmer. Everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in to Stardew Valley. The only cure to my family's curse seems to be the growing and harvesting of vegetables. I suppose on day one I should see what this town is about. Hmm. Shopkeeper refuses to speak to me. I think I'll, I will come to the saloon quite a bit. Why can't I talk to strangers in this town, kiddo? What the hell is this? Strange totem on the outskirts of town. A homeless man. And the only way out of town is broken. So even if this doesn't work out, this farm business, I don't know if I can actually leave. Huh. And this grave isn't even written in English. There's wreckage of boats all along the beach. <laughs> Jeez, don't all stop your conversations at once. All right, fuck you too. What a peculiar town. Well, I've never grown a plant before in my fucking life, but I assume this is how you do it. Wow, this game really encapsulates the joy of fishing. Well, let me tell you, so far this is a lot more relaxing than playing fucking GIC, that's for sure. There's another one of those weird shrines. Hey, who are you? Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked to many a conversation. What do you mean people are talking about me? All right, well, time to get in character a little. I don't like how everyone in this town is, their initial impression upon meeting me was either they were a rude bitch or, or suspiciously friendly. Family curses alcoholism. Seeing as I just cracked a beer to start out the day, maybe it's starting to take in. Man, even in a fucking video game, I'm having to do my job landscaping in fucking patio brick. I swear to God, if it turns out I have to shovel snow, I'm closed on Wednesday. What the fuck? What an odd day to be closed. Oh, come on. There's no reason to be afraid of me, child. 
Oh, there's one other farm in town I have to compete with. Oh, maybe after a few beers one night, that farm might suffer a unfortunate circumstance. Wait, someone... Who the hell's living in their trailer? Sure is weird on how for a town of 20 people, there's one homeless guy and one person living in a fucking trailer. Who are you? Uh, actually, I didn't really choose. I was told to come here to somehow find a cure to my family's curse and something mysterious about my estate. Hello, science man. Uh, no, it's just parsnips. At the moment, I don't know why you would imply that. What's with this fucked up house on the property? What the hell? Like, it looks like something tore that house asunder. What the hell is going on here? That other guy said, all the places, why did you choose Pelican Town? What does that mean? Am I thinking too much into this? Jesus, it's like 11 o'clock. I should get back to bed. What are you doing up so late? Jesus Christ, man, you reek of fucking alcohol. That asshole Pierre better be open on a Thursday. With a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community, huh? Hmm. I'm so desperate for booze. Searching the dumpster of the fucking bar. Uh, stop telling me about the bar. I'm doing my best to fight off the curse. Where's the window boarded up? Why are these tomes on the wall? What junk is even on the TV here? A new viewer has joined us. The young man from Stardew Valley. What the fuck? Alright, well that's just a coincidence. She said the spirits were angry. What the fuck does that mean? So wait a second. Why is the water flowing towards the mountain? What the hell? That ain't right. Warm water from the earth is what carves the river towards the cold, colder ocean. There shouldn't be any flow from the ocean to mountain. That's not how science works at all. Hey, science man. Yeah, it is parsnip season. Making a remark over when I told you I'm only growing parsnips and not any fucking interest in crops. What the fuck? Hey, you stay back! What the hell? Get away from me! <laughs> Well, that was a weird fucking dream. Dear Mr. Norman, last night a JoJo team member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely. Did I have a fucking manic episode? Well, part of the dream was that, like, in my... F While I was defending myself on my estate, I broke the cobblestone pet. What the hell? The lady on the TV and the spirits were angry, and a shadow man came to attack me on my farm. It's been five days and I've already gone mad. No, I know what I saw was real. Need to go confront the mayor. Mr. Lewis, what the hell is going on on my farm? People's, people at the hospital said I was crazy. Yeah, the town center is pretty messed up. Uh, yeah, it is a shame. Jesus Christ, this place is a fucking dump. Maybe you should just sell it off. Oh my god. Okay, Mr. Mayor, this is exactly what I came to talk to you about. Last night, I was attacked on my farm, and I know the people are saying I was schizophrenic, and that I was saying a shadow man, but there's there was a monster, and one of, one of them was green, and he was behind you. I mean, crazy. <laughs> I know what I saw. What the hell? 
and this is the only bridge out of town, so that's another way that's been completely destroyed. And the nearest town, I think, is like a th three week walk away. Oh, what? Did you think it was suspicious that the water was flowing uphill too? I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. What do you mean? What do you know? What do you know, Marlin? Really hope those monsters are vulnerable to tetanus. Oh, does the purple hair run in the family? Uh, anyway, despite what you may hear, I'm not crazy, okay? I know what I saw! Oh my god. Stay back! If you're not up to date on your vaccinations, this'll fucking kill you! So they can be killed. Say, uh, Clint, you're a blacksmith. Uh, say if there were creatures that came to attack me in the night and I needed you to fashion me a blade, could you do so? Oh, what, that's too much of an inappropriate question that causes you to run out? My sources tell me you've been poking inside the old community center. Chambers are west of the forest lake and the stone tower. I may have information concerning your problem. Oh, my parsnips are done. All is not dark. Ah, everything I just farmed. I have more money. Maybe buy more defenses. Oh what, just because I come to talk to you, you realize you you have something important to do? Fuck you, buddy. Hey man, how's it going? Oh, hey, I'm actually really busy right now. I can't talk to you. You're crazy. You're schizophrenic. Well, I think this is the place. Okay, there's a lot to unpack here about your home. Okay, like a week ago, I would have said you were fucking crazy, but these last few days have really stirred up my, what I believe in and what's real or not. Uh, I don't know if I want to be drinking your strange elixirs, but... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Alright, so it turns out the reason why Grandad sent me here is because we're the chosen ones of the forest. So I'm not actually crazy, there are monsters here. I'm just the only one who actually knows what's going on around here. Well, I'm glad this is all starting to make a complete logical sense. I'm sure once I tell the townsfolk that I'm not actually a crazy schizophrenic madman, and I'm actually their sole guardian and protector, and the one keeping the darkness at bay, they'll understand. Hey, I'm a hero! And if I turned out to be crazy, man, that would have fucking sucked. I don't think I have the mental faculties to cope with such a thing. Now that I've been red-pilled on uh, forest spirits, I think I'm gonna go read what the strange mystical writings in the dilapidated community center say. Wild horseradish, daffodil, leek, dandelion. So the spirits want me to find them stuff. Scratchings on the paper are scaring the fish away, you fucking bitch. Ah, nothing like a, like a good beer by the end of the river. Fishing. And you know, the more I'm out here by the old fishing hole, the less time I'm spending at the accursed manor. What the fuck? Altar of Yoba? What type of obscene paganism is going on here? Yeah, living on a cursed land is not a very good incentive to come home every night. This might be the only working vehicle in the whole fucking valley. Not to self, if the townspeople catch on that I'm not a follower of their heathen god Yaga, maybe they'll have to shank Lewis and for his car keys and try and escape. From what I've seen, his altar was made of pure gold. 
which would explain why this town has such a poverty problem if they're devoting all their money to this, to like build golden statues to their deity. Although the doctor's office being right next to the shrine of some deity is a little concerning. For all I know, Willie could have like strep throat and the doctor drags him in front of the altar, kicking and screaming. There's a blood sacrifice. Oh, hello. Oh, you found him sitting on my property. It's also like fucking sits in the morning. What are you doing on my yard? Oh, maybe the cat can help me. You know what? I'll name it after my role model and hero. <laughs> I'll name it after Seder. Fuck okay, it, I'm just gonna name it after after Hank. Well, crazy Hank, you be a good kitty and you don't commit any tax evasion. <laughs> sure would be nice if I could, like, sell a bunch of these crops at the air for money, but for some reason his fucking heathen god Yaga says Wednesday is the day of rest. Hey, you drunk? Do you like flowers? Alright, fine. Do you like flowers? Yeah, see Shane? Lighten the fuck up. I'll give a flower to you. Yeah, you see how hard it is to just say thank you, Shane? Fucking jackass. 